from Dubai Internet City. This is the Business Breakfast. Nations capital, uh, getting very comfortable in Abu Dhabi. Uh, came down last night, sat on the beach a little, maybe. I did. Very good. I was trying to avoid a football match in which my team lost 7-0. We will have opportunities for you to sit on the beach in Abu Dhabi in about 10 minutes' time. But first, let's take the opportunity to have a look at what's happening in the real estate market here in the capital. New numbers show there were nearly 20,000 real estate transactions in Abu Dhabi last year. That is 27% more than in 2021. And the value of those deals increased by 8.5%. Getting a little bit of expert insight into those numbers now. Fibber Ahmed is head of uh, Director of Sales for Dubizel and Bayut. Fibbit, good morning. It's lovely to speak to you again. Good morning, Brandy. Enjoying Abu Dhabi? I am indeed. I'm not sure if we're quite house hunting, but put those numbers in context for us. What we've seen in 2022 in the real estate market in Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi real estate market has been no different than uh, Dubai in 2022. Of course, the numbers um, are relevant to the number of people that reside in Abu Dhabi. But we've seen some really good trends when it comes to comparison to 2021. We saw that offline transactions for Abu Dhabi were at 59% of the total transactions and about 53% of those were mortgaged. Uh, the demand for villa living was on the high. People want to live in bigger spaces. Um, and uh, of course, the waterfront uh, communities of Yas, Sadiat have been on top of the searches, um, not only for the investors, but also for people who want to enjoy the luxury lifestyle of Abu Dhabi. You say that that's not hugely different from Dubai, but the ratio of those numbers is quite different. The fact that we've seen the volume increase by around 27%, but the value of the deal is only up by about 8.5%. Are we not seeing the, the massive rise in prices that have characterised the Dubai market over the last year? You're absolutely right. Um, when you look at the apartment communities and the affordable segment, we've seen some um, decline in prices, which is very directly related to the fact that people are now looking to move to bigger spaces. Um, and when you look at mid-market segments, that has remained competitive, uh, whereas the um, sharp increases that we've seen are only in the waterfront communities like Yas Island and Saudi Island. Can you give me an idea of what we're actually talking price-wise then? Are we talking potential UAE bargains in that apartment space? Well, when you look at um, Abu Dhabi, I would say that there is still a lot in terms of what can be occupied. Yes, the demand is kind of on the um, short, uh, high side, whereas the supply is contained. So when I look at Saudi Arabia and I look at getting an apartment there, I'm looking at a price range of anywhere between 2 mil to roughly about 5.5 mil for a five bed, right? And when you look at the villa communities on Saudi Arabia, you see five bed villa could cost you up to 15 mil. Whereas when you go to Yas, you would see that although there is a 22% price increase in villas, that has gone up to 7 mil in terms of uh, value for a five bed. So um, there are certain pockets that are very, very high in demand, and rightly so because of their location. Um, Abu Dhabi is known for its culture. Abu Dhabi is known for its nature. Abu Dhabi is known for its quaint lifestyle, serene area. So in Dubai, you see a lot of hustle, bustle, and of course, the population is um, uh, double the population of Abu Dhabi. Um, in Abu Dhabi, I would say another two to three years, and you would see some really significant numbers. What are we actually seeing? or What does it feel like we're seeing happen to the population in Abu Dhabi? Because of course, in Dubai at the moment, things are feeling very surgy. In Abu Dhabi, I think Abu Dhabi, when you think about the capital, and um, myself, when I drive to Abu Dhabi, there is a sudden um, calmness that kind of comes um, onto you. Um, that is what I would see in the real estate market. It would take a couple of years for it to kind of get not very crazy, but still pick up a stronger pace. Um, Abu Dhabi is known um, in the past where 80% of the transactions were done by the locals. Um, now it is slightly picking up and you see senior executives of global companies kind of looking uh, to make their home there with new developments that are coming up. Just about yesterday, um, I read that there are about seven new investment zones that are coming up. So uh, with all of these initiatives and the global economy being in the situation that it is at the moment, I think Abu Dhabi would kind of become a preferred hotspot 
for people um, in the next couple of years where they would like to make Abu Dhabi either an investment hub for themselves or a home where they can kind of settle down into a more calm and serene lifestyle. So the pace might not be um, as active as that of Dubai, but certainly there's a lot of potential with a lot of upscale, unique lifestyle living and to enjoy the stability and the growth of the economy there. You mentioned supply earlier in those new investment zones, so areas that foreign investors can actually buy into. Is there enough in Dubai, and if not, what's lacking? In Abu Dhabi, sorry, what's lacking? I think in Abu Dhabi, it is very evident from the price increases that we've seen that villa communities are in really high demand and that too with great space. Um, what I've noticed uh, while looking at the areas that were announced, uh, the new investment areas that people are moving out uh, from the mainland, more going into the outskirts where you see your um, Shamka area, where you see your um, Gadir is, and you know, all of these areas are coming up for development. We've seen a Dar launch um, Al Riman uh, towards the later half of last year, um, which is again in the Shamka area. Um, three bed villa over there will cost you about three million. Um, so not only are they going to expand towards the island um, island communities, they're going to um, also try and make use of all the outskirt areas where people would like to enjoy a suburban lifestyle. Could we see a commuter zone effectively springing up between Dubai and Abu Dhabi in the middle of those two, uh, two, two cities, people commuting back and forth? What's the crossover traffic like there? Um, I would say this has really changed in the last couple of years. Um, I remember back in the day, I myself had a lot of the, uh, friends who used to be living in Dubai but working in Abu Dhabi. Now with all these opportunities that are coming up in your Qatir area um, and then in your Shamka area, people want to kind of make their home there. Um, traffic in itself is insane. Uh, when I drive to my Abu Dhabi office, which is in um, ADMG, um, I don't think I've driven at that speed ever. So yes, there is speed and people do want to do the crossover and they still do, uh, but people are also making their homes in Abu Dhabi now. Thank you so much for joining us on the line this morning. Fibba Ahmed is Director of Sales for Dubizel and Bayut, speaking to us about the health of the Abu Dhabi real estate market.